This improv is based on the idea that man sees out his 40s with a bang. Let the story commence. Craig was 49 and he thought, I'm dead old, I've got nothing left to live for. So he put a shotgun in his mouth and he blew the tap his head off. But we went to heaven. And there was an angel there. And went like that. Now's not your time. And Craig said, well, I've done it now anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's done now. And the angel went, no, we we can put you back. And Craig said, I don't want to go back. I've got nothing left to give and there's nothing left in the world for me. I'm 49, I'm going to turn 50. What's left for somebody like me at this age? Seen it or done it all? There's nothing. I'm washed up, clapped to it. And the angel went like that, well, why don't you stop your moaning? And Craig went like that, you kind of speak to me like that. And the angel went like that, no, I just thought you'd appreciate that, because as you're getting on a bit, you appreciate some straight talking. Right, I'm not going to fucking baby you, wrap you up in fucking cotton wool, treat you with kid gloves. Why don't you stop your fucking moaning and get the heat done and get on with it? Get the heat done and get on with it. He went, all right, you're fucking right. Do you know what? That's, that's all I needed. I needed somebody to just fucking get to me straight. And Angel went like, well, there you, there you go, lad. There you go, lad. All right, lad, now get down there, lad. Head down and get on with it. All right, boy. Laddie. All right, my man. And he went like that. Kind of pat each other's backs and went like, I already that's, that's enough. <laughs> I already that's enough. <laughs> yeah. And then Craig went back down. And he was still alive. He was alive again. The problem was that every time he did put his head down, his brain fell out because, um, well, he'd blown the top of his fucking skull off. But they put a brain back in his head, but the, the, the hidden picks the, the skull back on properly. So he kept dying because the brain fell out um, and got detached with the, you know, the, uh, the, what do you call it? You know, the sort of, that's the bit at the back again, the um, brain stem. Aye, that kept just fucking tearing, falling off. He kept going back up and he went like, you, you didn't fix that? Oh, sorry about that. And he'd f fix it. He'd go back down and he'd stick his head in, literally, stick, you know, get his head in. That is, that is the, what they meant. They, all knew, they said, don't have to literally stick your head down. When I said get your head down, I just meant get on with it, said the angel. And Craig went, I'm no daft. I know that. I know you didn't mean literally. It just so happens, coincidentally, when I actually did put my head down, just kind of just, you know, as a matter of course, just getting on with my life and happened to put my head down, to, you know, look under the um, look under the sink. You know, that's where I keep, I keep my cleaning stuff. That's my sponges. When I get the heat done, the brain falls out and I'm back here. And that happened two or three times and Craig went like that, me again. You know, he was, he was sort of like apologetic to begin with and then pissed off because it kept happening. I said I want to speak to somebody. Couldn't get a hold of the angel. Another angel came along and said, I, I'm dealing with this now. I want to speak to Thingy. Uh, they're actually busy. What can I help you with? It's the... My, my brain keeps falling out because you put me back in. You're going to have to deal with that yourself now. Well, no, I'm not going to. Uh, it's a pain in the arse. I'm just going to stay here now. You can't. You can't stay here. We don't have any room in heaven. Heaven was full. And Craig went like that. Well, I'm just going to go and go to the other lot then. And work against you. Um, they put him back down to earth. 
And Craig shot out on doing something bad. Sorry about that. And he walked past somebody with a circular saw and went, uh, you know how you're cutting things there? And the guy went, aye. And Craig said, have you got anything for when you want to do the opposite? When you want to put something together? And the, the guy, the carpenter, looked at Craig like that. Oh, I see. The heat. Craig went, yeah. He said, what I can do is I can do a, a thingy, uh, a two, four, five, a dovetail joist that doesn't require any nails or anything like that. I'm alright. Stick nails in, stick and no, no nails. Can do it without the nails. And he fixed it with all these wee grooves. Wee grooves in it. So it could just it goes in and it goes and it just clicked in. Really, really Clever. And Craig, his brain didn't fall out again. And he lived a full fucking life, just felt kind of new. And then Craig eventually died of natural causes. And he went up to heaven. And there, up in heaven, He saw, he saw that carpenter, that joiner, and like that. That's the guy that helped me. You know who it was? Jesus. And he went up to Jesus as Jesus was sitting down at a table and chair and just showing people. I So I just thought, you know, if you have the table high, but the chair's high, then you don't have to sit in the ground. And Craig went up and went, sorry to disturb your your, your uh, seminar here, but Jared, I just want to thank you. You probably don't remember me. And Jesus went like, no, sorry. I meet a lot of people. All right, well, I just want to thank you anyway. All right, glad to hear that, mate. So, the, the, the table's there, the t and, and that was that, the end. And that's why he went like that, no nails. Jesus does not like nails. <laughs> Won't go into that, but Jesus does not, is not a fan of nails. <laughs> we'll leave it there. Hmm. Not the biggest fan of nails. <laughs>